Hello piggy people. So today's video I'm going to be cleaning the herd's cage and the trio's cage. And I thought it might be a good idea while I clean to discuss everything about the guinea pigs so you guys can know what each of them is like, what their name is, their age, their breed, where they came from, etc. I know there's new people here who might not be familiar with who everybody is. And even if you've been here for a while, I think it'd be a great refresher to introduce everybody. So first off, we are cleaning the herd's cage. So this cage is five guinea pigs. There is one neutered male and then four females. Three of the four females are spayed. The one is not because she is still too young. So let's start off with the boss of the cage who is the neutered male, Huckleberry Pie. So Huckleberry Pie, his name for short is Huckle, Hucky, Huckman. I adopted him from Piggle's guinea pig rescue when he was four weeks old. So right now he will be five next month in June. Huckleberry is a silver agouti. He's just a gorgeous gray color with a white tummy and then he has some black on him and you'll notice his fur has little ticks at the very end of white. So his fur is really unique looking. Huckle's personality is so sweet. You could not ask for a sweeter guinea pig. He is so gentle with every other guinea pig. He never stops talking. He always has something to say whenever he's walking around the cage. He is talk, 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 talking. Who knows what he's talking about, but it never stops. He's the only pig I have like that. He loves to be pet and pampered. If he's on your leg and you're just petting him and petting him, doesn't stop talking. He is so gentle to do his nails and any health care. He is just the best little pig. And he is so perfect for the ladies because he keeps them in line and he keeps everybody chill and calm. Next in the cage, who is the next oldest, would be Rum Raisin. Her other names would be Raisin or Ray Ray. So she is from the vet clinic actually slash pet store. So the pet store brought her to my vet clinic because they could not sell her because she had a serious eye injury and I was able to adopt her from my vet clinic technically. So I got her when she was four weeks old. Raisin is going to be five in November this year. She is an Abyssinian. She is like a dark brownish black and a creamy and white kind of coloring. So Raisin's personality is fairly high strung. Uh, she's definitely settled a lot more as she's aged and now that she's in a herd, she was way more crazy when she was just with one other guinea pig where being in a herd has really calmed her down. She does startle a bit more easily and is a little less trusting when out of the cage. I think it all has to do with her one eye being missing. She does not like to be t pet or touched or clipped don't clip her nails, none of that stuff. She likes to be in the comfort and safety of her cage. And when she's in the cage, she is very friendly. And she will come over to me if I call her name. It's just anytime she is out of her comfort zone, she is on edge. But in with her friends, she does great. So the next guinea pig would be Reese. Reesey Bear is what I usually call her. She was just adopted from an online ad. I did get her as well when she was about four weeks old. Reese just turned four years old back in March. She is an American guinea pig cross. So she has a little bit of longer hair that is hard to see now that she's older. But when she was younger, her bum hair and hair right by her ears was quite long and wispy. So she has a little bit of something else in her. She is a gorgeous dark brown with the orangish kind of color, which is why she's called Reese. So her personality is very laid back, very calm, very trusting, with a touch of sass. So she is all about being pet, snuggled, uh, hand fed, but if you want to do anything like clipping nails or health checks, she gets really sassy with you and she doesn't have time for that. But otherwise, she's a really sweet pig and she fits so well into a herd scenario. She's definitely a guinea pig who never wants to fight. If there's any confrontation, she's out of there. Next member of the herd would be Velvet. Velvet 
was adopted from an online ad. She was about a year old when I got her and she was kept on her own in a crappy cage with basically nothing and was so terrified. She's going to be four years old in October this year. Her breed is an Abyssinian cross, so she has lots of long hair, especially around her bum and back. It sticks up crazy long, so obviously she's an Abyssinian with some other long-haired breed. Uh, she is all white with a black face, and she also has a little black bum patch. Now, in natural light, the black almost looks more of like a really deep reddish brown. So it just depends what lighting she's in for what color she looks. So her personality is quite timid and shy, uh, but she has really changed since she's been in with the herd. So she was terrified when I first got her, and she's really calmed down now more. But I think she's forever going to be a pig who's not too comfortable with you reaching near her. She still can be quite hesitant. But she's so sweet when you have her out. She's very easy going for you to do health checks, nail clips, all of that type of stuff. Super sweet pig, but still quite on the cautious side. Now the last piggy of the herd is Veda, or baby pig. She was adopted about two months old from an online ad. She is going to be one years old in September. So her breed is an American and her coloring is lilac. So she is this very pale gray with kind of a purplish hue if you're looking at her. And she has those gorgeous little ruby red eyes. So Veda's personality is full of excitement. So she is always running around the cage, getting into things. She loves to popcorn. She is very sweet and attached to Huckle. And she has a load of sass for other pigs if they are in her space or eating her food. She can be quite nippy with them even though she's on the bottom of the totem pole. And sometimes when she is sassy with another pig, you can literally look see that they're looking at her like, Girl, are you serious? Did you just tell me to get lost? But since everybody in the herd is so calm, they usually let it fly. But she's definitely been told off a few times. She's an absolute hoot to watch. So let's talk about the trio. So the trio obviously is made up of three guinea pigs. We have a neutered male and two spayed females. So we'll start off with the neutered male because he is the boss of the cage. So his name is Busby or Buzz, Buzzman, Bubs, Bubsy. He was adopted from Ladybird Animal Sanctuary. So they actually had approached me asking if I would foster him or even think about adopting him. He was very shy and nervous and super scared and they felt like he would really benefit from being around a lot more guinea pigs, which they were very correct on that. So obviously I adopted the little dude. So he just turned one year old in April. His breed is an Abyssinian and his color is a white, a creamy yellow, and kind of a lilac color on his back end. He has just really pretty colors. His personality is so bubbly and happy. He is always excited about absolutely everything. Popcorning, running around the cage. He loves other guinea pigs. He's quite obsessed with Autumn. He just loves being around other piggies. He is quite nervous for too much movement or reaching in the cage close to him. I really believe that he has quite poor vision. One of the things that he likes to do often is do checks around the cage. So after I've spot cleaned or done a full cage clean, he is going around the cage and literally checking where all the pellet dishes are, where the water bottles are, where his hay is, and where the beds are. He does this all the time. Uh, I think he's just making sure that everything is where it should be, so I always keep the main items, like food, water, in the exact same spot in the cage. As for beds and tunnels, I'll change that up, give him something new to check out, but I keep his staple items always in the same area. He is hard to pass treats to, again, seems like he doesn't see what you're doing. You can startle him easy, he's very hard to catch because you freak him out, 
so I often try to just get him to run into a bed and pick him up that way. Once you have him out, super sweet pig for doing nail clipping, health checks. He's a great little guy that is just full of personality and just obsessed with the ladies he lives with. So next in the herd is Annie. Well, her real name is Annalise, but I usually call her Annie or Annie Banani. So I adopted her from a family who had two skinny pig sisters who they weren't able to keep anymore due to allergies. Her age right now is going to be five in November. She is a skinny pig, which is a hairless guinea pig. Her color is a black to dark brown with a little bit of blonde on her nose. Annie's personality is very bold. She is very friendly. She's very calm. And she loves to be pet. She loves ear rubs. She loves being rubbed on her nose. There's just about nothing you can do to scare her. You can drop stuff, you can sneeze. Whatever she's doing, she just keeps doing. She loves to yell super loud for treats. Often she is a false alarm because I might just come in the room just to check on them and she thinks it's treat time. She starts yelling, gets everybody else going. And I'm like, no, no, it's not treat time. Oh, she is so sweet. She's great for doing nail clipping and health checks. She's a real delight to have. The last piggy of the trio is Autumn. She is the newest member of the trio. I adopted her when she was just about four weeks old as well from an online ad. Right now she's going to be three in September. Her breed is an Abyssinian cross. She's fairly similar to Velvet where she is an Abyssinian but there's lots of longer hair on her. Hers is mostly along her back that sprays out, kind of like reminds me of like chicken feathers at the end. Just gorgeous. Her colors are like a brownish black. She has the orange and she has the white. So she just made me think of Autumn colors as soon as I saw her. Autumn's personality is very sweet and loving. She loves to be just relaxed and laid back. So you could find her laying, eating hay, laying, drinking her water, laying, eating her pellets. She's a pretty chill girl who has little moments of getting a little hyper, but she's quite calm. She fits into the trio very well. She did kind of butt heads with Busby at first, but then she let him be the boss. Busby absolutely loves her and she tolerates him pretty darn good. Uh, Autumn loves to groom. She will always be licking Annie's neck and Annie's ears, and I think it's just the cutest thing. Autumn doesn't really like to be pet in the cage, but if I take her out, she's super sweet for being snuggled, pretty darn good for clipping nails and doing health checks. She's a really delightful little piggy. So if you guys have any more questions about the guinea pigs, let me know. There's lots of things I could answer about, say, health issues that a couple of them have had, Anything like that, anything you want to know more in depth, leave a comment below and I will get back to you. Bye! watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!